Time to take our first phone call. Charlie in Kentucky. What's going on, buddy? And I had two questions for you. I was sure. curious, firstly, about what you thought about uh, cosmetic mole removal, like in a facial area. Cosmetic what? Second, I didn't hear you. Like mole, mole removal. Mole removal. Okay, go ahead. And what was the other? Secondly, um, options for topical in light. Okay. Uh, I was going to talk about topical skin lightening next week, but I'll give you a couple ideas now. Um, moles are really typically not, not a big deal, and a lot of things get called moles that aren't really moles. Uh, moles are uh, technically moles are, are dark, little dark spots, and they can, be, uh, they can be a sign of cancer if they change color uh, or change shape. That's really what you want to, uh, that's really what you want to be careful of is, is moles that change color or change shape. Moles are typically benign, and they're not really a big deal for the most part. Uh, but every once in a while, somebody's going to have an unusual mole, a weird kind of mole, and those are the kind of moles that can develop into cancers, melanomas, and that's the really, those are the really big problems. If you've got a mole and it looks weird, it changes color, it changes outline, it grows, whatever. If it, has, if it, if it seems to be morphing in any kind of way, uh, that's something that you really want to be careful of. Uh, moles are typically, however, not for most people. They're not really a big deal, so I wouldn't be messing around with them unless you suspect, unless it looks weird in any way. Like I say, it changes color, shape, or anything like that. If it's just a little mole, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, moles uh, are typically just just a, a pigment, a pigmented issue. They can be raised or they can be flat, but it's basically just pigment. However, like I say, this is very important. If the change of shape looks weird, grows larger, whatever, uh, in any kind of way, that's something that, that you really want to take care of because it can uh, develop into a melanoma. Uh, as far as topical skin lightening goes, there's lots of things you could do to, topically, to, to lighten the skin topically. But the thing about lightening the skin topically is you're not going to take care of the chemistry that's causing the problem in the first place. So uh, uh, skin darkening, hyperpigmentation, blotchy skin is a sign of number one, excess cortisol, number two, excess estrogen, and number three, deficiencies in antioxidants, whether it's intaking antioxidants or absorbing them. It could be one or the other. Those are the three main causes of hyperpigmentation. If you want a fourth cause, prescription drugs can do it too, uh, probably because prescription drugs mess up cortisol and cause an elevated stress response. It's a stress, a sign of the generic stress response. Topically, however, there's wonderful things you you can do. Uh, it's not going to take care of the problem permanently, but you can take care of this, the, the pigment that's on the skin in the immediate sense, in the short term. Uh, number one, hydroquinone. That's the gold standard, toxic as it may be. You need a prescription for the good stuff. Uh, look for 4%. If you really want to take care of it, look for 10%. You'll have to have a compounding pharmacist make that for you. My favorite way to uh, topically address hyperpigmentation or blotchy skin is to speed up uh, the movement of cells, uh, the desquamation of cells, that is the flopping off of cells. Skin cells rise from the bottom to the top. You got a, uh, skin is made up of layers, and the bottom layer is where skin cells are born, and those skin cells rise up to the top. This whole process is super important. You know, when we look at, we look at our skin, it doesn't look like anything's happening, but really there's a lot happening. If you zoom into your skin with your, with your magnification vision, and just in your imagination, zoom into your skin, you will see an entire universe of activity. One of the things that's happening is cells are constantly growing from, or moving from the bottom to the top. And as they're moving from the bottom to the top, they're becoming progressively, uh, progressively more dead, if you will, until, the, until they reach the very tippy top where they're dead, and then they flop off. Well, as cells are mo moving from the bottom to the top, that's when the pigmentation occurs. And it's a little bit more complicated than that, but for our purposes here on this phone call, the pigmentation occurs as the cells are moving from the bottom to the top, which means the faster the cells flop off, the faster the cells move from the bottom to the top and then come off, that's called death squamation, the faster they come off the top, the uh, quicker you're going to get rid of that pigment. Does that make sense? You, you're actually speeding up the removal of the pigmented cells. Does that make sense the way I explained that? I hope I wasn't too confusing. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so you want to speed up the, the movement of cells from the bottom to the top. There's wonderful ways to do that. Retinoic acid is probably the best. That's vitamin A cream. And the reason I say it's the best is because in addition to helping speed up the movement of these pigmented cells from the bottom of the skin upwards and then flopping them off, you'll get the, all the advantages of vitamin A. Antioxidant advantages, anti-wrinkle advantages, uh, uh, improvements in the, the way cells divide and grow, anti-cancer benefits. It's just a wonderful topical product, and I recommend everybody uses retinoic acid after the age of 35 or 40, even before for some folks, and especially if you're hyperpigmented or if you're darkening.
The next thing you could do is you can use alpha hydroxy acids, glycolic acid, uh, lactic acid. These are products that you'll, these are ingredients that you'll find in products like cleansers and toners, uh, or moist, or, or creams, lotions. I recommend cleansers and toners with alpha hydroxy acids in them. Uh, alpha hydroxy acids can help speed up the removal of the cells the same way that retinoic acid does. So those are the three best ways, in my opinion, to get rid of pigmentation topically. Hydroquinone, although that is toxic, retinoic acid, non-toxic, and very effective, and alpha hydroxy Oxy acids number three. Now, there's all kinds of uh, skin lightening chemicals, topical skin lightening chemicals that you could use, uh, kojic acid, vitamin C, um, a licorice extract, mulberry root extract, niacin. All of these can have some skin lightening benefits, but they're not as effective as exfoliating or helping the, those dead skin cells flop off. Uh, that is really the best strategy, in my opinion, for, for uh, helping lighten the skin. Does that help you? Yeah, and the retinoic acid is what percent cream? Uh, we the retinoic acid is a prescription. It's available in various strengths. The, the weakest strength is, is 0.025%. That's a tenth of a quarter percent, or I suppose a fortieth of a percent, 0 0.025. That's the weakest. The strongest is 0.1%, which is a tenth of a percent. Now, if you find a compounding pharmacist, you can have a compounding pharmacist make extra strength retinoic acid, which I personally recommend. But reckon, retinoic acid is a little bit aggressive. That exfoliation that it induces, that, that movement of cells from the bottom to the top can sometimes cause some irritation if people aren't, they aren't healthy or their skin's not robust and vigorous enough. So you've got to be a little bit careful with retinoic acid, but it is super-duper effective. Do you have any more questions there, Charlie? Does that help you? That pretty much does, man. I guess the only thing with the mold removal is do you find there any uh, benefits in a cosmetic sense, like if you have something on your face or whatever? Well, hang tight. Let me, let me talk about that when we come back from our break, okay? Uh, Rose and Jeff, hang on. We'll get to both you guys when we come back. We do have a line open for you. 855-660-4261 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back after this. Hi, I'm Dr. Joel Wallach, veterinarian and naturopathic physician. The Dead Doctors Don't Lie guy with an important message. Take charge of your health. Do not continue to blindly follow the system that has failed us all. I appreciate GCN listeners because you're open-minded and intelligent. If our system is so great, why is it that the United States, the USA, ranks nearly 60th worldwide in longevity and number one in obesity? All the while, we spend more money than all the other countries combined annually on unnecessary health care procedures and toxic drugs. It doesn't take much to get on track, not with the government or pharmaceutical companies, but rather you in control of your own health with a basic understanding of nutrition and supplementation. FDI Longevity has the finest quality health, sports, and energy supplements available. GCN listeners are invited to join our team of people who want to stay healthy well into old age. We are currently looking for specialists to represent FDI Longevity and save America. To buy products at wholesale prices or join our business team, go to GCNteam.com. That's GCNteam.com. Support GCN. Get healthy. So we decided to upgrade the look of our home. You know, improve the curb appeal. We decided to add the look of stone to the exterior. We really like the stacked stone look. Yeah, but when I checked into the price, it was ridiculous. No way could we afford it. Then a friend told me about Genstone. G-E-N-S-T-O-N-E. Genstone comes in lightweight panels made of polyurethane. They've actually engineered the hassle out of installation. No mortar, no mesh. It was easy. Even I could do it. We just screwed the panels to the wall and it looks like stone. Stone. I mean, it really looks like stone. Yeah, from the box to the wall in minutes. We love the look of our home now. And Genstone is durable, comes with a 25-year warranty, and offers additional R-value for insulation. If you want the look of stone at a price you can afford, call Genstone. At 855-955-STONE. Trust me, you'll save money. And you'll love the look. 855-955-STONE. That's 855-955-7866. Hi, this is Steve Sanchez, and based on a recent study, it was found that 57 million Americans had legal issues over the last 12 months, but only 60% of those studied sought out the services of a lawyer. Why? In a nutshell, affordability. Well, my friends at Legal Shield have created a solution that can help you not if, but when you need an attorney. For as little as $17 per month, Legal Shield will provide you unlimited access to qualified attorneys at an accomplished law firm for advice and counsel on legal issues no matter 
how serious or trivial. For over 40 years and with 1.4 million families across North America, Legal Shield can help you, the loyal GCN listener. Representatives are standing by now to answer your questions, so call them now at 1-855-340-SAVE. That's 1-855-340-7283 or visit them at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. We are the premier independent talk radio network. The Genesis Communications Network. GCN. On the right side, talking to Charlie in Kentucky. Are you there, Charlie? Charles in Kentucky. Charlie, yeah, Charlie? man, I'm here. All right, Hi, good. John. All right, good. Uh, so, uh, as far as moles go, as far as removing them, they basically just cut them out, and it's pretty, pretty routine. I mean, you could get some infection, I suppose, but there really isn't many problems associated with the excising procedure, with the cutting out procedure. They can also burn them off. Sometimes they'll cauterize them off, but it's pretty routine stuff. They use laser sometimes to do them as well. Um, but uh, it's, it's not a big deal, not a major surgery or anything. It doesn't even, sometimes they don't even need stitches, depending on the depth of the mole or the size of the mole. So uh, it's not a big deal. Is it a real big mole that you have or something? Super big. It's just kind of annoying when I shave. And uh, you might want, if it's annoying like that, you may want to have it removed, excised, or, or cauterized. But it's not a big deal, and there's no there's no danger to it really, aside from possible I guess, infection. Uh, I wonder, if, is there going to be scarring that would be less? Bite Make sure you get some fat soluble vitamin. Depending on how deep the mole is and how 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 uh, deep they have to go. Uh, in the excising procedure, you may or may not have uh, an issue with scarring. The best thing to do to prevent scarring is to make sure you're loading up on vitamin C beforehand and make sure you're using topical fat-soluble vitamin C on the area that they're going to be cutting uh, for maybe a week or two before and then a week or two after. You might want to throw in some retinoic acid. That can also help prevent scarring uh, before surgery. This is true about any surgeries, by the way. Topical vitamin C and topical vitamin A can both improve the healing prognosis of any kind of surgical cut uh, or, or, and help prevent scarring as well. Um, and digestive enzymes, believe it or not, can do it too. Taking digestive enzymes a couple weeks before surgery uh, and then all the way to a couple weeks after surgery can actually speed up the healing time of any surgical procedure. Okay? Thank you very much, man. Thank Thanks, you. Charles. Thanks, buddy. Have a beautiful day, man. All right, Rose, in the U.S. of A. What's up, Rose? How you doing? Hi there, Ben. Thank you for your kindness. We always love you, and, and we're learning constantly with you. Thank you. I appreciate that. We appreciate you, as you cannot imagine, and we remember you. You know. Thank how. you so much. So, how amen. Come, what's I would going like to on? say, uh, I have a question. You know that I had a, a gastrectomy, total gastrectomy. Okay. And I, I heard you saying the other day, I know the gel caps are good. Now, the other caps are not gel. In a case like me, can I digest something like that? You have no stomach? Yeah. None at all? Nothing left? I have a pouch. That's how I can live. You shouldn't have a problem with it. You're not going to... You know, the, the gel, the benefits of the gel 
gelatin. The gel contains, gelatin is actually just collagen, and collagen is three amino acids. And uh, gelatin and collagen and those amino acids are very important for rebuilding the intestinal lining. Uh, I don't know, you do need to have stomach acid to break those up, and I'm not sure that that's going to be easy for you to do without a stomach. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't have an answer for that, although I would suspect you're going to have a problem and you're not going to get the benefits. What you might want to do is liquid gelatin. Liquefy your gelatin first. Uh, make a, make, instead of using the gel caps, you may want to go get some liquid gelatin and stir it up in water and drink it once a day. Gelatin is amazing, amazing stuff. It's an animal product. If you're vegan or vegetarian, once again, oh, you're going to find that you're not... I, I you're not, do both. You understand? I, I do. Sometimes I eat less. Uh, I don't eat a lot of meat, but I like chicken. I'm do doing these liquid things. gelatin, Rose. Get yourself some Knox liquid yes. Knox gelatin powder and make liquid gelatin and drink it before it settle before it sets up. No, I have another do. question. Sure. I called somebody and I saw 